Prophetess, Gospel Singer, Pope in Hell, Sperms and Condoms. Welcome, beloved. My name is Anne Mathoni. I was fasting for three days and fell in a deep sleep and then started receiving some visions. I saw two angels in luminous white garments. One of them was on the left side and one of them was on the right side. One of them held my hand and then I woke up. One of the angels said, I will not go with her till she comes back. So he will be waiting for me to come back. The angel that was with me was holding my hand and we are now heading to hell. The angel told me, I want to show you a prophetess in hell that you knew when she was alive. This prophetess was of God and she was good in prophesizing and doing many other things for God. I was fearing so much that I was not even questioning the angel of the Lord why that woman was there. Now the angel of the Lord that with me spoke to that prophetess in hell, tell her why you are in hell. The woman answered, I am in hell because I was a hypocrite. I was holding bitterness and grudges in my heart against many people in my heart. Then the angel the Lord brought me to see another pastor that I knew in this world. When he was in the world, he was doing the work that God was giving him but he did not make it to enter the kingdom of God or heaven because he was in hell. I asked the angel of the Lord, why is he here? And when he was in the world, he was serving God and doing great work of God. He was a man that was known by how he was committed to the Lord. I asked that angel, why is he there? The angel said, that pastor was serving the Lord and he was doing the work of God, but that pastor was stealing tithes from God. Malachi 3, 8 Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say, wherein have we robbed you? In tithes and offerings. Then the angel of the Lord said to me, now come I will show you a singer who is very popular in your country of Kenya. I was very shocked when I saw that singer in hell. That singer was very highly talented. Her worship songs have touched many people but that singer did not enter heaven. She was in hell and she was being tormented. When I saw her, I saw that she was having cosmetic things like makeups, ornaments, earrings, bracelets, and all the things that women used to wear. As a musician, she was very popular. She was very famous, and her name is Angela Chibalanza. The popular Congolese songwriter and gospel singer Angela Chibalanza was famous for her dynamic voice. Simply known as Chibalanza, the artist is a household name in Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Congo, Zambia, Mozambique, South Africa, and Zimbabwe. Part of her widespread appeal was her ability to sing in several languages, including Kiswahili, Lingala, Ruganda and French are spoken. She died in a car accident in 2007. I was very shocked to see her and I feared to ask the angel of the Lord. Then the angel of the Lord asked Angela Chibalanza, would you tell Anne Mathoni why you are here? Angela answered, if I had known when I was dying and had removed those attachments, all those artificial nails, and makeups, I would not be here but now I'm here because of those makeups. Those things that women today used to wear were signs and symbols of the devil. Angela said, if I knew the truth, I would not have done skin bleaching and changed my skin color to look like a white lady. I wouldn't have added ornaments, earrings, and those kinds of makeups that we see many women have. Now Angela was begging the angel of the Lord to give her time so that she may come back to this world to repent but the angel of the Lord answered, time is already over. Angela Chibalanza was already burning in the fire, and I could feel the intensity of that fire. The fire was so hot that it changed her face and her face was black. The angel of the Lord then told me, let us go and visit heaven. I want to show you something else. When we went there, I saw three groups of children in heaven. The first group was the children that are being aborted in this world. The angel of the Lord also showed her the condoms that have children inside of them. The angel of the Lord asked her one question, would you tell me the difference between those condoms and those aborted children? I said, there's a big difference between the aborted children and the condoms. The angel of the Lord said, you are wrong. There is no difference between those aborted children and those condoms that you see with the sperms. The sperms in those condoms and those aborted children are all the same. The angel of the Lord said, when their mothers die, both of these children who are aborted and these who are stored in the condoms will accompany their mothers to the judgment and accuse their mothers. But if their mothers repent and got saved, they will be reunited again. But among those children, the angel of the Lord showed me one child. The angel said, you see this child among those children, his mother is still alive when I took you from the earth. 
She aborted that child on earth and that child died. Now that child is here in this place. The mother did not repent of committing that abortion. The angel said, if that woman did not repent, on the time of judgment, she would meet her child in heaven and she would be judged and be put in hell because she never repented even though she's a Christian. And the angel of the Lord took me to the second group, I was shown other children whose parents conceived them in sin. The angel said, God does not recognize those children because they were born in sin. Hosea 2, 4 And I will not have mercy on her children for they are the children of fornications. I was told that on the day of judgment those children born in sin will be accusing their parents. And then I was taken to another group and the children there are very clean and had white garments. I was told that those children were very pure in their hearts. They are waiting for the time of judgment but they have already entered the kingdom of God. They are in heaven. The second group of children conceived in sin is in hell. The angel said, because the time is short and the time is finished, I would want to tell you that God does not recognize how great you are. God does not look at how much money you have in this world. All those things are nothing before the Lord. Luke 16 15. Dot for that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of God. The angel asked me one question, would you like to know a minister or a politician who ended up in hell? Yes. Do you remember a minister in Kenya who died by an airplane accident? Then I remembered that a minister who died in an airplane accident. The angel said, that minister did not make it to enter heaven. He is already in hell. The angel said, his money and his greatness did not make him enter heaven. And the angel of the Lord said, do not be shocked and do not fear because of how great men are and how rich they may be. The angel of the Lord continued to say, now there is also another person who is in hell, he was a pope who made people worship idols. I was not shown which pope. The angel of the Lord said with much anger, this pope was leading many people to worship idols and statues and leading many people to hell. The pope did not make it to enter heaven and the pope is now in hell. The angel said, even those Catholics, listen to me. Those who are now following the doctrines of the Pope and are worshipping idols, statues, and images in the church, if they don't repent, they also go in hell. The angel of the Lord said, now I will take you to another side in heaven. The angel of the Lord asked me, is there someone that you remember who you would like to meet in heaven? I said, I do not know if that one has entered heaven. But I went with the angel of the Lord and stood at the gate of heaven. At that gate, I saw two angels. One angel was on the right side and another angel was on the left side. The one that was on this left side had four wings. The angel that I was walking with handed me to the angel that was on the left and on the right side to hold my hand. When we were going to that gate, I found the big gates of heaven. The gates were made of shining gold and the walls attached to the gates were also of gold. The angel of the Lord that was with me entered through that gate and brought a saint in heaven who has overcome and entered heaven. The angel said, there are people who are in heaven, and there are people who are also in hell. The woman that was brought by the angel is a witness who had overcome. She was full of joy, full of the presence of God, full of joy, full of happiness. This woman spoke to me and told me that she has overcome and she is in heaven. And there are fruits, the fruits of life that she's enjoying. And she told me, that even you make it an effort to enter the kingdom of heaven. That woman went back where she was in heaven. I was not allowed to enter heaven but was standing at the gates. As I was speaking to that woman, I could see heaven and that it was prepared. I saw that in heaven, there are seats that are being arranged in heaven. There are seats with white ribbons or white clothing on them. That woman answered her and told her that those seats are for those who are being expected in heaven to enter heaven, who are being prepared by the Lord Jesus Christ. I asked the angel the question, why don't you allow me to enter heaven? The angel replied, when you stay in holiness, when you live in holiness, you're able to enter here, but your time has not come for you to enter so you cannot be allowed to enter the kingdom of God or to enter in heaven. And then the angel held her hand again, and they went. The angel of the Lord told me, when you live a holy life now, I will come again and I will show you another part of heaven. The angel of the Lord said, do you see that big table with different types of fruits? The angel of the Lord said, I would like to go with you and dine there at that table. And we shall eat some fruit. When I sat down with the angel at that table, the table was full of different fruits. I could only recognize the grapefruit. And the angel of the Lord invited me to eat three types of fruits. 
When I ate the first type of fruit, the angel of the Lord asked, Would you want to know what type of fruit you have eaten? I answered, Yes, I would like to know. The angel said, The first fruit that you have eaten is the fruit of love. Then I ate the second fruit and the angel said, It is the fruit of patience. And then I ate another fruit and the angel said, That fruit is a fruit of taking away hypocrisy. When you eat that fruit, if you have hypocrisy in you, if you do not have purity in you, you remove that hypocrisy in you so that fruit was of taking away hypocrisy. When I came back, I saw the second angel who stayed behind to look after my body. The work of that angel who took me on the trip was to take people to show them heaven and hell so that they will witness through their testimonies. The angel told me, now, you have become a witness. And now you can go and tell people on earth that there is heaven and there is hell. Prophetess, Gospel Singer, Pope in Hell, Sperms in Condoms. Welcome, beloved. My name is Anne Mathoni. I was fasting for three days and fell in a deep sleep and then started receiving some vision.